I'm just going to name some of the actors in Barney Miller. Just give me a quick thought, a word, just something, you know, on each one, if you feel like doing that. Uh, Hal Linden. The smartest, the best actor, singer, uh, director, human being, you want to say. Uh, a week ago, I went to a memorial of his wife. Francis passed away, you know, she had a, 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 a fighting cancer for 16. Great, great man. Max Gale. Uh, Everybody, he is the smartest when it comes to politics on the set, but nobody knows that. They think he's a dummy or somewhere, you know. He was very, very socially active in life, you know. Uh, until now, he fights for minorities more than any place. Very, very sharp in, in politics. It doesn't show. He playing a dumb, a Polish character, sorry. Uh, Ron Glass. Ron Glass was a typical Ron What you saw there, that's Ron Glass. You know, it's funny. He's always sharp. He wants to look good and all that stuff. That's strong glass. That's where he is. Steve Landisberg. Oh, boy. Steve is a Gregory Peck, I call him, you know. Uh, he is very, very gentle, funny, uh, a good sense of humor. And many times you'll come in on the set and imitate Gregory. You want somebody to imitate Gregory Peck? That's the guy. Uh, very, very nice guy. Human being, very nice. Ron Carey. Ron Carey was our funny man, the poor guy, very uptight, very nervous. Everything, you know, it's funny. 90% uh, of the cast, they took their parts to play it, interpret the character, whatever, very easy. They, you know, it wasn't that easy, but they made it easy. With him, every line he has to worry about. And I think that killed him, f finally, with the stress, you know. Uh, but he's, uh, as a human being, funny all the time, you know. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, they sang opera. Between him and Greg, you see a lot of comedy because we used to wait for scripts for two, three hours. We shut down. And between that, that's where all the uh, comedy came, fun, family ties. Uh, we, we are like a family. What about Jack Sue? Very sad. I, I loved him. And again, he had problem with his uh, uh, family-wise children. He was a gambler, and that's what he saw. It's funny. Jack Sue represents Jack Sue in life, in, his, in person. Abe Vigoda. Well, Abe Vigoda, I will love him. A little bit, uh, you know, uh, he went to Danny Arnold. He said, well, you know, everybody loves me the way we should say Abe and Barney, you know. <laughs> no, he told him, get the hell out, you know. Uh, he is beautiful. At the same time, he thinks that he should be uh, co-star with Hal Linder, but it's not that, you know, it just, uh, he, he's nice. Uh, Gregory Sierra. He's beautiful, very nice, very temperamental. He lost, uh, he could have been a billionaire by now, but it was, he refused. We, uh, we did uh, uh, A.E. Hudson Street. It's a, a comedy about uh, Bellevue in New York, and he was playing, uh, he wrote, uh, ABC wants a Spanish uh, to play, you know, I mean, uh, minority, whatever. And uh, Danny Arnold wrote, it's a, the funniest. We read the pilot while reading before we start to shoot. We laughed, our chests were hurting because we laughed so much. And he was, he played it a Puerto Rican, you know. At the end, he made an announcement say, I will not play this as a Puerto Rican. I'll play it as a straight doctor. And guess what? He was let go. We brought somebody else, somebody else. But, uh, if he got that, it will be funnier than Barney Miller. And we'll go for seven, seven, eight years, he'll be a millionaire. But of course, he went out to play uh, uh, a Latin priest, terrorist, whatever. I'm surprised. I love the guy, you know. So we are very, very good friends. But he was very uh, principled, you know. And uh, James Gregory. Oh, very nice. Cool. You see what he did? That's James. You know. He's been there, he's done that, he, you know, and come in very nice. And uh, we, we talked a lot because he was very busy with Pasadena Playhouse when he found out I graduated from there. So very beautiful man.